Hi, the ho everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play. Although it's just Sword, the S word. I was gonna go. I was actually gonna go Shield, but then Claire's like, I want to do Shield, so I went Sword. And now I regret it all because apparently Krogunk isn't in here. I have to trade, and I'm a sad boy. Oh, ho, it's Pokemon Sword. Do, 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 do. Get off your deck, video game. Go outside, and meet friends. Hello, hello. Oh, that's your flash new phone fruit? Huh? Is that like some sort of European... It's probably some sort of like European slang that uh, I just don't understand. It flies over my head, as most things do. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full? The only way to probably cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Hop, you're an idiot. I didn't say you could stop entering our house without being... I mean, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get fruit. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, so it's your older brother. I'm so sorry. Come with me, fruit. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. He is... Stacked with cash. He's the Pokemon champion. Hopefully he's doing alright. Alright, I guess I should go say hello. Is this my Munchlax? Alright, good talk, buddy. Oh. The first semi-console Pokemon core RPG game, though. It's a fireplace that's built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winter. Mind blown. Pokemon already teach me mad facts. Apparently, yeah. Hi, hiya. If you just uh, do a little twirly whirly, something happens. Hi, mom. Love you. Okay, here's my switch. Ladies' video room console is sitting by the deli. Where, uh, where's my PC, dude? I need to get my potion. It's not a Pokemon game. If I don't get a potion right off the bat. That's the bag I fit in Nezucoin. Nezucoin. This uh, is not canon. I do not look good in a beanie. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You don't say. You can save your progress. Look at your town map. Let's look at our town map. Some old guy doesn't have to give it to us. I like the art for the map, though. Wow, look at it. Probably feels bigger because they've zoomed in but it's hard to say how big it is exactly but either way i'm excited are these are these the gym we gyms oh that's no, route 10 that's oh, just the name of the route it's a cool looking city though winden okay hop is waiting for you better head outside okay quit yelling at me options what's here Tech speed. Fast! Battle effects, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm, sure. What? Gyroscope. Don't use, no thank you. <laughs> Skip movies. No, no. Okay. Save them shittins. Alright. Let's go find my friend. So-called friend, for the record. I hardly know him. Oh, but isn't it? Yeah, it looks great. Oh, the future of Pokemon has just begun. Yes, I see you. Love the house design, though. Oh, we got a little badoo. Badoo, doo, doo. That, that sound's going to get real annoying. Because it's really easy to run into stuff. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> have a look at you, fruit. The little bag looks like it'd pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Oh, Hop, you're not funny. All right, shut up. Just kidding. <laughs> this is very British. I remember we went to Iceland, actually, a couple years ago. And at the Airbnb we stayed at, there's a rule we had to keep the fences closed so the sheep wouldn't escape. So this is what this reminds me of. A Wooloo, but what's it doing here? I know Iceland isn't, it's not really the point. 
Keep trying. Hey, you silly willow. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No, everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering world. You wouldn't want to go over there, buddy. Now that that's taken care of, how about it for you? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging that big old bag? Yeah, and on account of the fact that I don't even know where your house is. You know, just a thought. I like this, though. See, this is really cool. You see the Wooloo, but in the back, like, look at that. Kind of weird how they just appear. I guess draw distance. Not that that bad, though. But, like, little Butterfreeze. You get the Wooloos. You see, like, in the distance, some shadows flying around. Like, the world feels alive. This is actually, this, like, this right here, this is really cool. I really like it. I'm a fan. Oh, I'm sure you have some nugget of knowledge to teach me. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? It is. Not as amazing as you are, though, buddy. Oh, a little, little place to have a battle. A little shed. They hide the bodies. Alright, well, if this is Hop's house, he is loaded. Because what the heck. Although I do have, like, a nice little cottage in the Shire. Mum, is he here? Yeah, you are, let's talk. Maybe I should try my horrible British accents. Aaron, you brought along through. Hello, dear. Oh, chummy chum with a boy hop, are you? Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Yeah, I'm gonna stop that. Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Quite the name. Then that's where I'm going. You know, Lee is helpless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got a company, Fruit. You're sh you've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion until he faces me, of course. I'll wait for you out on the route. Yeah, wait until he fi <laughs> faces me in my unturnoffable EXP share. That'll show him. <gasps> it's a Krokuk. No! See, it says there's posters of the top three most popular Pokemon in Galar, which, ironically, are all Gen 1. But what it doesn't say is, here's a statue of the most popular Pokemon in Galar, which apparently I can't get in Sword. I'm playing Pokemon Sword, by the way. Didn't know this. Otherwise, I would have gone Shield. Very embarrassing. Oh, who's in here trying to get fit? Love it. Love it. We got some... I don't know, CrossFit or something? You're all looking great. Uh, I'm just an old man. Oh, look at that. All the accolades of his older brother. Let me show you the accolades of, of Hop. Hold on. They have a nice wall dedicated to him. Here, Here's Hop's wall, right here. What do we have here? Um, A picture of some sand and a blimp in the sky. It's supposed to be motivational, like, reach for the stars or the sky, but really, it, it, just like that desert, his accolades are empty. How's that make you feel, Hop, huh? Never gonna live up to your older brother. Pfft. It's big shoes to fill there that you never will. And then your best friend, myself, will overshadow you, no doubt. But, you know, you're doing great, Hop. I'm sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> oh, you remember, Root? Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. We got my Willow with me. Oh, I'll trade you for some clout. I'm ready for battles against Wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Fruit, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. You got the Pokemon. You pluck, Fruit. Yeah, just wait, Hop. Wait until I get my glow up, son. Ah, uh, but there's a Pokeball over here, Hop. Uh, no wandering into that tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Eh, hey, look at me, I'm hot, I have a woo-loo. Whatever, dude. Ah, this feels weird, though. I naturally want to use my right stick to look around, though. It's a little jarring. I wish I could. Hey, how does Hop see me? He's like, oi! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's time for some exposition. Let's get some story. <laughs> Stunning, dashing, is your undefeated Pokemon champion. 
Champion Leo. I think that's his name. I kind of forgot. Leon. Oh, yes. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. You sound like a weird kind of a mix between a hot dog and uh, a sour. What is that other one? We well, have the sauce. So you know, you have the hot dog. And then what do you have in Europe? Not sauerkraut. That's what you put on it. Um, it, it's like a hot dog. Uh, uh, why is, why am I blanking? I actually love to eat them. Bratwurst. Yes. It's a mix between, a mix between those. Somewhere in there. It's uh, exclusive to Pokemon Sword. Your champion Leon is back. Bratwurst are really, I don't like hot dogs, but I like Bratwurst. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on draining up your Pokemon and never show everybody. He's like, Jesus, like, let me just go about my day. Okay. They come challenge me for the champion title. <laughs> We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills. Just like, what is this guy on the right doing? <laughs> Lee! Lee, I'm your biggest fan, dude. <laughs> He's so cool. He reminds me of the guy in Avatar when they go to Kyoshi Island. He's like, <laughs> foaming on the mouth. Just like, oh god, it's that guy again. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. You Gen 1-er. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. What is he wearing, by the way? I think some... Some overdue cotton candy or something. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wishes for God's strange to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Yeah, look at me. I'm a Charizard. I know you're a cool Charizard, okay? Lay! Lay! He's like, oh no, it's my brother. Ha ha! What are you doing here? <laughs> so, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. All 20 feet from my house. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here, who might we have? I've got it. You must be fruit, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my older brother. I'm the guy who greatest ever Pokemon trainer and a massive Charizard fan, too. They are really going all in on this Charizard. Oh my god, I didn't even look at what he's... Wa what is that? What are those? He's got, like, some weird leggings. Yeah, he has, like, compression pants. With... What is going on there? Bro, I don't, I don't really know. You're like, you're, you're, you're dressed for winter up top, but you're ready to go for a jog down bottom. I don't get it. I don't get it. People call me the unbeatable Leon. They know you fruit chars are not your fashion. Am I right or am I right? Okay. Come on, Leon, you fruit. But I can beat the both of you back home. That hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Oh my god, what's on the back of his... his Is that like the equivalent of his sponsors? He doesn't have a jersey, he has a, a cape. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Hey, he's a sellout, and I respect it, dude. Get on that grind, you're the champion, get all those sponsors, dude. Slap him wherever you can. Name your firstborn, Nike or something, you know? Whatever it takes. Come on, Lee, you promised a present, so out with it. You brought fruit and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Wait, he's actually the one that gives us Pokemon? None? If so, that does make you a little cooler, I guess. Take a good look, you two. <laughs> Holy heckers, it is. The grass-type Pokemon, Grookey. All the others don't matter. I mean, Score Bunny. And Sobble. All the starters do look cool. Um, but then their evolutions get whack. Except for Grookey, my boy. Score Bunny is cute. I'll give you that. But then you turn into something weird. Let me tell you. Ah. Oh. But meanwhile. Um, dum, dum. Oh, it's okay, Sobble. Oh, see, what a nice guy Grookey is. Shut up, Score Bunny. You're just trying to fit in. 
All right, light up, everyone. Not even a question, dude. Which will you choose? Yeah, screw you, Hop. I get to choose first. Pleb. Boo, boo. Doo, doo. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my willow, after all. That's right. Don't even care about the others. We going with Krooky. Look at the little fella. The grass-type Pokemon Grookey, yeah? It's soothing like a nice long walk in the woods. Grass-type Pokemon Grookey. Ah, uh, shout it. We chose Grookey. Oh. Okay. I did this with Sun and Moon, too. Everyone expects me to nickname Pokemon. But to learn all the new Pokemon and stuff, I'm just going to opt to not nickname people because I'm going to make my party only new Pokemon. In the new region, if I can, I'm, I probably will be able to. Shouldn't be a problem. But um, in order to also know who the heck they are, I'm not going to nickname them. I know, I know. That's terrible, but it has to be done, okay? Forgive me. Would I like to give you a nickname? No. You'll grookey to me forever and always until you evolve. <laughs> oh, he's so cute and pure, and I will kill anyone that tries to mess with you. It'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Oh, Are you best friends with the Wooloo? I bet you will be, huh? That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Fruit. So the two of you can battle and train and grow strong together to try to reach me. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait a minute. So if there's if there's if there's two of you and three of us, and you, and you chose the other two, where does that put me? <laughs> You'll come with me. Charge up. We'll show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong, real kind too. Yeah, stupid fire starter pleb. Go go for it. <laughs> the orphaned. Score bunny. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon, and let's all eat. Let's get that bread. Does look pretty good. I mean, so far, I really do like the set design and everything. I also really like how Hop has house animations. Literally. All of his animations are house. That's one thing people are upset about. But whatever. You want to know what's hilarious, too? They have a, a picture here of Talonflame. Or it's... I'm trying to remember what the... The first... What this one's called? Pikapek or something? I, why can't I remember? Anyway, they have a compass of this thing. It's not even in the game. Funnily enough. So... You, uh, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Okay, Leon, let's... What are you trying to get at here, buddy old pal? Of course I have, Lee. Fruit's made fast friends with his Grookey, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. You trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, and someday, you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Fruit might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. He's a pleb. No, you're the pleb hop, okay? But I'm not playing to lose to him and miss out on my chance to be the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Okay, Hop, what are you trying to get at here? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Well, then ready to take Hop on the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? It's not. Yeah, I'm a pro, but whatever. You don't want to get gut. You don't want to go getting so caught up in things that you forgot everything you've accomplished till now. Take a moment to jot down what you've done in order to save a record of your progress. I guess he's saying save, idiot. All right. Oh, look at the adorable Krooky. All right, fight me. Me and Saba are ready to have a go at you anytime. I'm ready. I'm re okay. What do you say? Well and ready? Yes. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. More importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind up too. 
He could have just taught me himself, but he actually left home really early. And although we're blood brothers, it, it feels kind of like we're not because he's never around and he doesn't really treat me like a brother. And he's too focused on his Charizard to actually love me. So what I'm saying is I have to, you know what, let's just battle. Like, oh, okay, I didn't, what, uh, <laughs> okay. I like the music though. Hey, is this a 1v2? Oh, come on. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. I'm a cheater, is what you're saying. Oh my god, look at this adorable little monkey. Look at this little monkey. Okay. We don't have a lot of moves, but we have the right ones. You scratch. Hit him with your freaking yes. And with your drumstick. Boom. This is this is pretty rad though. I love the design of everything. You got a what? A crit? Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Leon, you're gonna let your younger brother here cheat? He has hacks on. I'm sorry, Wulu. Gain some XP. That's a lot of XP. Now, odds are I'm going to learn a grass move to use against his Sobble. Just a thought here. Oh, wow. Branch poke. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Sobble might be cute, but he'll be cuter dead. I'm going to poke you with a branch. Otherwise known as Branch Poke. <laughs> I actually bring out a little stick. Nah. Nah, nah. Did you already know about type advantages? Uh, uh, it's cheating. Poke him with another branch. Here, I found one. Here, use this one. <laughs> this, is, this looks like a good, a good branch. See ya! Right in his eye. The opposing Sobble fainted. God, I'm so big brain, dude. Oh my god, we're already level 7. Let's go, Grookey. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much. I got 400 for winning. Oh! By the way, because I have heard that this game is kind of easy mode, thanks to the whole EXP share and uh, levels not scaling and all this kind of stuff, what I think I might end up doing is I might limit myself to my current gym badge plus one for my party early on. So before I fight the first gym leader, I can only have one, more or less, unless I find like a Wulu here or something. But point is, I can only ever have one more in my party than I have gym badges. So until I get the fifth gym badge, I'll never have a full party. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I think that's, yeah, it's like a Nuzlocke light kinda. It's not, it's not quite, we're not quite going in all the way, but we'll do our best to, like, make it a little more, you have an effort, you know? You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun. Can you imagine Charizard comes out? <laughs> it's just fun. Fire Blast. And all of our starters are dead. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Fruit, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to hop, would you? Push him and make him make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gems. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region, boy? You think this is some sort of a game? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. I don't even know what that means. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Otherwise known as Pocket Monsters. Well, not for quite some time. Especially your friend, Fruit. Before you think about getting gym badges, best thing about getting the Pokedex. Trainers Pokedex help them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of trainers' love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Fruit. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. All the professor know to expect you. Gonna be the next champion, so completing a single Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mum that we'll be heading out, though. Mum. Mum. I'm off, mum. Uh, what the heck was that? Fruit, did you hear that just now? Yeah, it sounded like a... 
A horrible bowel movement after Taco Bell. The gates open, and the will of that was there. <gasps> no! No one bothered to stop it. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I, re I remember the professor's granddaughter when it was, and she came back and wrist. Oh, well, that was nothing compared to the, the airfoil she got from the professor afterward. For, 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 what, do you, what do you say? We've got to save it. And it will become my best friend. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, fruit. Okay. Hey, mum, I'm going in where I shouldn't be. Bye, mum. Love you, mum. Oh. I like this little loading and this weird little 80s synthwave music we got going on here. That Wulu, what do you think it got off to? Well, if I had to guess, further in. The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Monka. Oh my god, what is that? I need it. I need it. A squirrel Pokemon. I need it. Squove it. Ah. But. We'll lose a normal time. Ah. Ah, but I need a. Ah, it's a squirrel. I don't have any Pokeballs, do I? Probably not. I don't. Okay, well, I have to kill you anyway, friend. But this won't be the last time we meet Squovit. Oh, it's adorable, though. Oh, little cheeks. You just pinch him. Between the thick squirrel and the thick fog. No, not November shaping up to be a rough one, boys. Ugh. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around. But my Grookey's so thick. He keeps slapping his his, his uh his drumsticks against the ground and alerting all of the squovets. Hmm. Oh. oh I want you too, Rookity. Rookity evolves into eventually Corvanite, which is sick. Um let's just go. I don't actually know what type you are. Are you flying? I mean, you certainly look like you'd be flying. Okay, I'm gonna say you're flying. Yeah. That's why we don't poke you with a branch. Wouldn't be very effective. Let's go, Krookie. What if I just never evolve you? Is that cool? Is that chill? Is there a hidden item? Nope, guess not. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I also love how these are forbidden lands and they're the lowest Pokemon you'll ever find in the region. Like, watch out, dude. Oh, it's another Squobit, though. You are adorable. Oh my god, I just realized he pulls the drumstick out of his hair. He uses it as like a little hairpin or something. That is amazing. What? I love you more and more, buddy. More and more. Also, I will say, the UI grew on me. At first, I really... I wasn't a big fan of it. But, uh... The simplicity of it all... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not against it. It's already grown on me. Didn't take very long. Willow, I'm coming! Come on, Fruit, that Willow might be in real trouble. You don't say. What in the world am I, am I calling for Roach? Come here, boy. What am I doing? <laughs> Willow. Where you at, boy? This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. It's so thick. 
I don't know where we are anymore. Nani? What is the? Wait, what? We're battling this thing? Question mark, question mark, question mark appeared. You're missing an ear, dude. And you don't have a sword. Level question mark. That's pretty good. Oh, I love the music. Ding. 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 Oh, oh, oh. No need. In spirits, Pokemon's gaze is fixed upon me. Wow. The move had no effect on it. Oh, my, well. Maybe if, maybe if we try a different one. Use an even better attack. Scratch. Oh. Failed again. Ah, oh, the fog is so thick. Red, I can't see anything. You okay? He's like shouting in my ear. I'm like, dude, you're right next to me. We haven't moved. Like, please spare me. What about growl this time? We don't have to hit anything. What a cute little sound. No effect. Oh, it's even thicker. Ah. Uh. I can't say anything. <laughs> All right, have a nice day, Mr. Ghost. Encountering the legendary Pokemon at the beginning of the game. This has never been heard of before. What is this music, dude? I feel like I'm about to go into some weird, dramatic rom-com in the 80s. <laughs> that was so weird, right? Yeah, love you too, huh? Do you mean this entire time? That's right, Fruit. I have to come forward in this thick forest. Hop, Fruit! Like, oh, wait, it's my brother. Ah, uh, Clay, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants... Oh, I just read your pants. Like, pants? What about my pants? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'm waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Where's the Willow? We were trying to rescue that Willow. Yeah, isn't he cute? The little chap's just fine. The all you have found you by the time I found you. Can't really do it, British. I don't know what that was. You know, a splice is out of bounds. No, I'm just gonna, yep, can't do it. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? And at least that woo was all right, yeah, for real? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. <laughs> what are you talking about, huh? It seemed blood stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and just had this sort of presence. My moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it, you say? Could have been a ghost Pokemon. Or the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. You're like all night. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine, I was gonna say pretty fire. First page in the tale of my legend. You're so hip hop. Hip hop, oh my God, I'm a genius. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. You'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. And mom, I'm headed to the Bratwurst. Would you like one? Hello, mom. Dum dum. Well, now, isn't Grogi just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Bratwurst, aren't you? Here's some hot mustard. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Dum dum. And you, Grookey, look after my little fruit. Come home and rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Oh, Mom. You always knew what to say. Love you. All right, see ya. I'm off on my journey. See, this is... I, I love this little picturesque thing here, though. I love it. I love it. I'm a big fan. 
Wait a minute. What's on the... Oh, chimney's on top of that thing. Looks like on top of their house they have like a little chicken coop or something. Um, nest or whatnot. Here we go. This is quite the big step. You know, my first step toward becoming the next champion. God, hop, you're making me tired. Just let me fight. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on front. <laughs> That's a Pokemon research lab. Looks like a uh, sorcery. What are they up to there? Wizardry? Look at all the Wooloo! Oh. oh, squirrels! Oh, wait, there was a Wooloo. I don't have a Pokeball, though, do I? Squirrel <sighs> This place, I love the, the, the scenery here, though. I probably shouldn't fight wild stuff too much and level up too much. Because uh, I might get too ahead, but... We'll worry about that later. I'm sorry, Squobit. I'll capture you. I was going to use you, but I think I'd rather have Woo Woo. If it's all the same to you, I'm sorry. You're both adorable, though. It's, a hard, it's, hard, it's hard to choose. Wait, I do have Pokeballs? Wait, what? When did I get Pokeballs? Ah, oh, fudge. Is that really? Hmm. Did I just kill you for no reason? Oh, I do. I have five Pokeballs. I already have a fishing rod? The heck? The heckers, brother? Well, then let me go get a woo woo. Welcome to the team, woo woo. Oh, look at that. He's so fierce. That's right. You get him, buddy. A level five, too. You'll love to see it. Taunt. No thanks. I must waken the Willow first. It's the first step to Pokemon battle. I'm a little worried. If I poke you with another branch, you're so fragile. So instead, I will scratch you. Oh. Oh, it was a crit. Oh, but just perfect. Let's go. Literally probably has one health left. That's amazing. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little shortcut for Pokeball. Oh, isn't that convenient? X! Use a Pokeball. Now hold that, and then mash A. Yeah, I do like every Pokemon game, dude. There we go. It has a 100% success rate 50% of the time. It's what you had to do. It used to always be a thing back in the, the Game Boy games. You, uh... When you throw the ball, you hold up B. You hold up and B. And as soon as it opens, you just mash A. And you mash A, mash A, and then it'll always catch, dude. It's, uh, it's totally a thing. We will not give you a nickname. But I love you. Fear not. Oh, we found a potion. Alright, I'll avoid the rest of you for now. Because I'm nearly level 10 as is. Oh, but there's a... Uh, oh, there's a bird, dude. Come here! Alright, I'll probably catch you too. I don't think I'll use you. Yet. I'll probably put you on the team later. But I want my... I want my Wooloo. Branch poke might actually be good here, since it's not very effective. Uh... Ow. Alright, what are the odds that this kills you? You'll be left at one health, by my calculations. Nice! Let's go. Oh, gosh. I have to remember, there's a shortcut now. Use the shortcut, Mr. Fruit. Hey, let's get it. Welcome to the team, Rookity. He is a rookie. Green horn. We made it. Let me go heal my Pokemon really quick. What up, Charizard? You lost? Let me add the champions here. 
Uh, I have bigger things to attend to. What the fudge? You won't let me heal before I go? Really? You're going to deprive my Pokemon of healing. Simply because you don't... Oh, but I can go to here. A train station or something? Oh, yes. Back to Brothurst. The ultimate Charizard. Champ is here. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Charizard's like, these old bones just don't work like they used to. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I met Charizard with me. Or got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. But why? Oh my god, there it is. Yamper. You are so going to be on the team, my dude. Oh my god, it's adorable. Uh, what is it today, Leon? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, uh, little corgi. Looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. My little Olive and Appa. Yo. More so Olive because Appa's tricolor. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. And Lux. <laughs> oh, Leon, you rascal. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? None me? Remember to hydrate? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Oh, funky music. Oh. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Fruit. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Sit him, set him on the right path, would you? Oh, Yamper. He still has atrocious style. What is he wearing? Ugh, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Poor Rotom. When did he stop becoming a Pokemon and just a tool? Poor guy. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Woohoo! Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from a Gran. Would you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Copy that. Yep, yep. This uh, is a very beautiful research lab, though. Oh, yes. And here we see the diagnostics of plant life. Quite. I'm just exploring for no reason. Farewell, Sonia. Have a great life. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. I know you just want to play the game, but instead I'm going to make you play this insufferable beginning because you clearly don't know how to play Pokemon. It is, you just love the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you've got Pokedex. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. I'm not a new trainer, and I don't need your useful stuff, old man. You boomer. I don't need your potion. I don't need your handouts. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP. <laughs> That's hit points. Gets low. HP's like a Pokemon's... Oh, my God. <sighs> Quit talking down to me, okay? You don't know me. What gives you the right to? You're like, you just know me so much. You can just come up here, tell me things, give me things. Stranger danger, okay? Got your Pokedex from Sonya, then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. A battle of strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battle another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Fruit. Bet you've never been inside one. Again. So much 
assumptions going on here. I know what I'm doing. Level with me. <laughs> Fruit, come, come here. Come here. Be honest with me. This is your first time in Pokemon Center. No! Thank you for finally asking me. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. No, I don't. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Fruit. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. I do like the look of the Pokemon Center, though. And by that, I mean I like the look of the nurse. <laughs> I know. Hello, welcome to... Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Thank you very much. Boo -doo, doo 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 Thanks for waiting. Grookey and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Thanks. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Check my boxes. Pokemon boxes. Yep. All right. Like I said, I'm going to keep it so that I can only have my gym badge plus one in my team. So we're sticking to two for now. See you later. Thanks, dude. What is that thing? Foo foo? Got some Pokemon questions. Feel free to ask what. Raid a nickname. Remember move. Forget a move. Oh, well, that's, that's handy. He's just everywhere. Come back anytime. I'm here to buy. What are you buying? What are you selling? You're already selling revives? Oh my god, but mom didn't just give me a little bit of money. Give me all the monies. Uh, yeah, might as well just buy some revives, right? I mean, when in Rome. How many of these do I have? That'll put us to 10. Sure. Get two antidotes. Why not? Always good to have meds on deck. I do have to care about my Pokemon. I'm not going to let my Grookey suffer. Never. Couldn't call myself a Pokemon trainer if I did. Perfect. You have a nice day. Let me go ahead and save. Do 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 do. Yeah, I know. Currently, it's zero badges plus one equals two, but I don't just want to level up and soup up my starter before it. I want to get Wulu going a little bit. Okay, so when I have my first gym badge. Essentially, I'm only going to have two until the I get my second gem badge, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so quit yelling at me. Let's work on my fashion. It looks stylish. Oh, yes, I do. How may I help you? Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Oh, these are just adorable. Don't you love it? What? Oh my god, what am I doing? Fudge. I, screw buying meds for my Pokemon. I could have bought an Arcanine shirt. What? Fudge. Oh, hoodie's kind of sick, though. Kind of... Kind of nice with it, not gonna lie. Ooh, that white and red? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Alright now, ladies. Yeah. That's too much. You can barely see my my socks anyway. What are those shoes? We can only get loafers here. Oh, look at the bags though. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Not really doing for it. Doing it for me there, bud. I do need glasses. I am blind. That is canon. Look at these gloves. What am I, a serial killer? Going oh, Dexter on some people? Duh. Heck. I'm going to get the sweatshirt. I like the hoodie. Wait, no. Buy the hoodie. Did I not buy glasses? I guess I didn't. I have to pay for I have to pay twenty eight hundred dollars so I can see. Man, what's wrong with these people? Yes, I'm done shopping. Thank you very much. I'm sure there's probably uh stores later on that have more options and stuff. But I think we're looking pretty pretty fire. Hello. Hey, how are you? 
It's over here. Berries! I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say? Are you interested in some kid? Uh, no, but thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Well, actually, you know what? I'll buy some berries, sir. Because I am Omega Brain here. And uh, held item. Open my bag. I'm just trying to... I know that these are new. Please stop telling... It's going to trigger me. Whatever. Give him the orange berry. Wait, what? Oh, give to a Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Not use it on him. Do, 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 do. Yeah, giant forehead brain, Mr. Fruit. Why won't you leave me alone? Listen, Fruit, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The the gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out right for the challenge of the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part, too. A proper rival. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to grow strong. Nope. nope. Every time I try it. Keeps me motivated, right? The professor has his way down at the end of route, too. Yes, you mentioned that. You did? Yes. I know. Thank you. You said you'd meet me at Route 2. We're not even there yet, okay? So when am I going to see you again? Because I feel like it's going to be a lot sooner than I want, Hop, okay? Let me be independent. Something, okay, great talk. You guys are the best. This old man is telling a story. You're back at it again, old man. Huh? You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Oh, they really want to make sure I know where the professor lives. But that's so cool. I can see so far. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Alright, we made it. Oh my sweet Jesus. Over here, Fruit. Yes, Hop. Alright, Fruit. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you... This better be optional. <sighs> Lee, we only look at you. You've already cost some on your own. Your mom gave you Pokeballs. I'll give you some more. The Pokemon ran here so so easy, wouldn't you say? 20 Pokeballs. Holy Jesus. Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. I I know. And of course, the experience points. Wait, does that... he? I think it's the Game Freak symbol on his back. At uh, the bottom right. Your team will keep on strong, no doubt. But even I don't exactly get strange. He does. Oh, nice. Okay, thank God. I guess since I already caught one, he's like, wait. You already know how to do it. So, thank God. Okay. I'm going to catch so many Pokemon. You do that, Hop. Can I play the game now? All right, thank you. I'm going to creep. <gasps> wait, I need that. Oh, a C dot. Oh, what up, buddy? I don't need you. I might catch you anyway, because I got to catch them all. Okay. I do want to be the best that there ever was. Get out of my face. All right. Are you ready, friendo? Go, Pokeball. Bloop. 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 Hey, welcome. Sinot was caught. Level up. I don't know why I get XP for... Never understood why they did that. I mean, I guess I kind of can, but... I'd like to give Dot nickname. New. I do want this thing, though. Come here. Come here. Because <gasps> he evolves into Dreadnought, and Dreadnought's actually low-key super sick. Look at Choodle. <laughs> oh. It's kind of terrifying, but at the same time, I love it. Are you water? What are you? I actually have no idea. Are you rock? Water? Well, whatever you are. You're either rock or water. I doubt you're both, because you would have died. That would have been times four. 
Okay, I do want to add him to my team too, but we'll have to use him later, I guess. Do 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 do. What do I want my team? Well, I want to use Wulu, obviously. I want to use him, Dreadnought. Corviknight, probably, but we'll see. I want to use Yamper. Then I know of the other Pokemon. There's uh, like a purple dude I want. I actually don't know the rest. But I just know I want those. Oh, sweet Doc, we're level five. I'm going to move you to my party as soon as I can. What up, Choodle? Oh, he has water. Would you like to give Choodle a nickname? New. No. Welcome to the team, buddy. Channel. What else do we have around here? Nothing else new, it appears. I am not giving nicknames because it's a new game, so just to reiterate, I'm gonna easiest way to learn their names of the new Pokemon, that is, is to not give them nicknames. So that's just how we're gonna do it. Alright, I need to stop leveling up. I'm already level 10. I assume I'm already up there. Well, I'm almost level 10. Not quite, but Woo Woo's level 6. That's my girl. Oh, ri <gasps> oh Galarian Zigzagoon! I don't know if I'm gonna keep you in my party, but at the very least, I wanna catch you. Welcome, welcome! Level 7. Oh, shoot. You mean business, huh, Zigzagoon? I see you. You little rascal. <gasps> I almost killed him. What is info? Why does he want me to use info? Info about Zigzagoon. No idea. Info about Grookey. Accuracy's down. No. Go Pokeball. I look pretty good, dude, with those glasses and the white on the red. Ooh. This is how you do it, Leon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, level 10. I don't care, she dot. All right, you're not going to make the team, dude. Doesn't matter how much you ask. You go into the box. Dark normal. Fighting will destroy you. It's the Galarian form. La da da la da da la da di da di da la di da di da. Ah, Wedgehurst, yeah. Hanging, flinging. Oh, there it is. Good eye, whoever pointed that out. The revive. We go again. Careful, slow. I do have, like, you can see the overworld Pokemon, though, again. Like you could in... Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. And it seems like if you just go fast enough, you can still accidentally run into some people, it seems like. To some degree. Oh, shoot! So a little, little girl tried to fight me. She does have the, squ the, the squirrel shirt, though. Wait, I didn't catch one of the squirrels yet, have I? How do I... Yeah. Current recommendations? Interesting. It's recommending that I catch that. Maybe it's because it's the only one I haven't caught in the, um... In the, in the region. Interesting, interesting. I do need to buy, uh, catch one, though. I need myself a squelv it. Oh, I should have had Wulu out in, out in the front. Challenged by Youngster Jake. I'm gonna be honest, Jake. I thought you were a girl. That's my bad. Why wasn't it Joey, though? You always needed to be Youngster Joey. Come on. Missed opportunity. Alright, you have a little six squab it. Yeah, we're a little ahead, but that's okay. Alright, Willow. What do you have? Tackle, growl, and defense curl. Oh, I didn't even look at abilities. Rookie, overgrow. No surprise. Run away. Choodle has shell armor. Protects some critical hits. Zigzagoon has pickup. 
And C dot has chlorophyll. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait on Willow one more turn, I reckon. Or er, level. Because Willow's on par with Squavit, so it would just kind of be like a, a wet noodle fight for a little while. Um, nom 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 nom. Squobin is so cute, though. Glad we got another squirrel. Because if I'm not mistaken, the only other squirrel we have was Pachirisu. C dot grew to level 7. Get out of here, Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. <laughs> I think that's just literally everyone. Have you ever won a battle? I don't mean to be rude, but... Wow! Oh! Squelve it, I never would have guessed. We must weaken it. Bite. Ooh, look at you. Oh, with a crit? Squelve it, you rascal. Stop it, please. Seriously, though, please. I don't have to use any healing items. Okay. Well, that kind of like puffs up his cheeks a lot. Oh, God, it, there's a shortcut, Mr. Fruit. Use the shortcut. There we go. That is that's some nice quality of life changes they got going on here, though. I will say that. Just wish the experience share was, was you could turn it off. Because this is the thing, like, my favorite thing about Pokemon was like right now. Like, get Grookey to level 10, and then the rest of my party switch out. Get him to 10, get him to 10. Like, I would do it by like levels of 2 or 3. So it'd be like, all right, I just got him to level 20. All right, this guy's level 17. Get him to 20. Okay, next person in my party. Get him to 20. And it forces you to use different Pokemon if you want to. I mean, there were always the people who had like level 40 Charizard and level like 17 others. But I was always the one. No. You show everybody love. They all contribute. Oh, Choodle. Learned Bite. Okay, apparently Wooloo takes... Has a slower XP grind because... Uh, Coming in slow. He's a thick boy. I thought it was a girl, but it's a boy. He's a thick boy. Found throughout the Gala region, this Pokemon becomes uneasy if its cheeks are ever completely empty berries. Pokedex updated! Excellent! Great job on filling your Pokedex! There are still a lot of Pokemon that you haven't caught. Let's catch more. Actually, currently there aren't. <laughs> I will not nickname you. Because the other thing, though, that I'm most excited for... It was my favorite thing to do in Sun and Moon, too, is once I beat the game, just then go and complete the Pokedex. Go around and catch everything. I have a lot of fun doing that. My guilty pleasure of Pokemon. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's give, uh, Will Loose some screen time here. I won't fight if I don't have to. What is that down there? Hold on! Huh? What are you? What are you? Oh, is it this new fox? <sighs> Ooh, this could earn a spot on the team too. This looks so sick. Look at this thing, Nick it. Ah, oh, looks so sick. Oh, I think it's dark type or something too. Ooh, I do like this guy. Ah, there's so many new Pokemon, Colonel. And if I go with my own rules, it's going to be really difficult because I've already found, like, half my party I want. <laughs> I can't use them yet. It was a Pokeball. Got to catch them all, baby. Nick it will not get a nickname. Sorry, friend. Willow go to level 7. It's my Willow. Alright, what type are you? Gotta be dark, right? That or fire. Yeah, dark type. Aided by the soft pants on its feet, it silently raids the food stores with the Pokemon. It survives off its ill-gotten gains. That's so sick. Would you like to give Nick a nickname? No. What do you want to send? Uh, add to my party. Let's swap it with just C dot for now. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that's so sick though. I had no idea. Zoom! Let's do battle! Looks like, uh... 
You're in like a Hogwarts house or something. Cute and strong, together in combination. Low key though, it would be beautiful to live in like a countryside like that. Challenged by Lass Warren. Send out Choodle. God, that is one derpy, adorable little Pokemon. But the Dreadnought, oh, it's so sick. I'll need it. And I need Wooloo to learn another attack. Not doing a lot here, but that's okay, buddy. All right. I don't know if you win this. Well, we do have orange berries, so you probably win this. You're doing great, Wulu. Oh, it, no, it, it is a girl. Oh, yeah, she thick. Wulu is real thick. Girl, you crazy. Om nom 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 nom. Take a little snack. You deserve it, buddy. There you go. Om nom 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 nom. See, here's the thing, like, obviously there's, like, a lot of complaints about Sword and Shield. But everyone even said this before it comes out. Like, our gripes, even though it'll still probably be a fun game, and people are rating it highly, because still, at the core of it, it's a Pokemon game. As long as you have that, it, it has the core foundations of the Pokemon game, the formula, then it's always gonna be fun, at least to me, and, you know, other people that enjoy Pokemon. It's just, they remove so many features that could have been in the game, or they could have added so much other cool stuff. It's just, like... I just feel like they could have done more, but I'm still just going to enjoy the game for what it is. And so far, that's exactly what I'm doing. We got money. I'm rich. Before we fight this guy, let me go ahead and save. And with that... That concludes the first episode of our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned, because if this is uploaded to YouTube, and you're seeing this, that means the whole series is done. I'm not going to upload it until I know I've done it all. But fear not, more is on the way. With that said, love you all. Uh, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.